Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Right here I have a 2022 Ford F-150. This one is a Lariat 502A package. So it has the highest tier of headlights. These are the headlights that you get on Platinums, Limiteds, Raptors, everything like that. In this video, I wanna show you guys the little things that Ford actually took away for the 2022 model year that they had in the 2021 model year. And if you guys want to double check what I'm saying, you can check out my 2021 F-150 Platinum video because in that video, I show you guys what the 2021 has. All right, so you can see when you press on lock button, you have the nice little LED uh, side marker right here, LED accents right there. It lights up the puddle lights. And I'll kind of go through this quickly because like I said, I want to cover just the changes in this video. Cause I've already done a million F-150s at night. And there's the rear for you. You can see there's the new license plate lights that are just standard bulbs now. So Ford went back to uh, standard bulbs when they had LEDs on them. At least for the 302A uh, XLT and higher, they had LEDs. But let's go ahead and get the lights going here. Let's go ahead and start it up. There we go. We have our headlights and fog lights on. And I'll just turn on one of the turn signals. You can see we have an LED turn signal in the mirror right there. It also acts as a spotlight. There's some other LEDs in there that act as the uh, mirror spotlights. Look in the front here. You can see down here we have our LED turn signal. We have LED projector adaptive headlights. It just looks really, really nice at night. And you have these LED reflector fog lights. So the lighting on the outside, other than the LED license plate lights being taken away, the lighting is exactly the same on the 2022s. I'll go ahead and quickly show you the back. And by the way, I wanna thank all you guys for uh, 3,500 subscribers and for your support on the F-150 video, this specific F-150. So I wanna thank you all for that. But we have an LED turn signal right there. We have the LED tailgate light. Let's go and open this up, which is power. And we can check out the box lighting. Turn on with this. So these are still LED, which is really nice. Third brake light is all LED. So like I said earlier, they only cheaped out on the license plate lights, that's it. And that's a really easy upgrade, but it's just kind of unfortunate that they took it away when 2021's had it. You also have your nice illuminated keyless entry pad right here. But let's get to the changes real quick because I want to show you guys what they did. Let's go ahead and move this steering wheel up. There we go. Power steering column, which is really nice. So we still have ambient lighting. We have ambient lighting down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the foot wells, we have ambient lighting on the upper door pocket right here. And we also have ambient lighting on the passenger side. But in 2021s, they had ambient lighting in the cup holders right here. You guys can't see because it's not lit up anymore. So they took out the ambient lighting for the cup holders. And then if you open this up, see how you can't see in there? They took out the light that lit up this area. So you no longer get a light in here and you no longer get ambient lighting. So you can see it's all dark. And then if you go ahead and look in the glove box here, you can't see anything in there either because they took out the light that's in the glove box. But there is one saving grace. In this huge center console, they still kept the light. So you guys can see there. So you still have the light in the center console. So at least they have that one. But 2021s did have one in the center storage area right here and in the glove box. Let's go ahead and look at the interior lighting and see if they did anything different with the interior. Go ahead and turn all of them on just like this. LEDs in the front, LEDs in the rear. So they didn't do any sort of interior lighting uh, downgrades. So that's all the same, which looks really good. We also have very bright illuminated vanity mirrors. So I'm glad they kept that. And then this screen looks the same, but it's a little bit different. So you can see we have the temperature up in the corners of the screen instead of on the dials like before, where it was on this dial and that dial over there. So that took a little bit getting used to since I'm so used to driving these F-150s. When I go to change the temperature, I look for this so I can grab the knob and then I look for the temperature right on the screen but since there's no more uh, temperature on the screen that's just that's just what it's gonna look like now 
And the buttons in the middle are the same, dual, and then uh, the power button over here. Then we have our heated seats, our heated steering wheel, and all this. And then if we look on the vehicle settings here, you can see you can scroll down, and then there's your ambient lighting. So that's how you can adjust the brightness. I have it all the way bright because I like when it's bright. Hopefully you guys can see the change there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Welcome lighting, that makes it so that when you walk up to the truck it turns on. Well not turns on, but it turns on the lights. That can be really annoying if you walk by your truck often without getting in it. So I suggest leaving that off, but if you like that setting then go ahead and leave it on. We also have auto high beams obviously. And then we have a whole bunch of safety tech in this truck of course. You can see, I went over this in my review, but you have lots of safety tech. But let me show you guys the zone lighting in action real quick. So actually, let me turn off the lights here. So you can turn it off, boom. Then we'll turn on the zone lighting here, and we'll turn on all zones. So you can see it shows you where all the lighting is coming from. Underneath the mirrors, the spotlights, the bed, everything. So I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like on the outside. And then we're gonna take this truck for a quick spin, show you guys the swiveling headlights and uh, give you guys some finishing thoughts to wrap this video up. So super bright, obviously, especially this truck being white, it really lights up the bed here. Got our LEDs up there. It puts on the reverse lights, which are down there, which are LED. Turns on your mirror spotlight, which is this one right here, and also turns on the puddle light underneath. So they kept this all the same. You can see it really lights up the ground, lights up the side over there. Let's go ahead and look in the front. You can see we have our LED headlights in the front and it turns on the fog lights, but does not turn on the side marker or the accent lights. So if you have your truck like this at night, you know that it's on the zone lighting because it doesn't have the accents around the headlights. So this truck has you covered at night if you're in like a dark area. All right, guys, I just wanna show you the back real quick. Uh, they still have the ambient lighting in the door back here. And they also have the ambient lighting underneath the seats and to light up these two outlets right here. And then obviously under that seat, so the back seat passengers didn't get anything taken away for the 2022 model year. It is exactly the same as the previous. But let's go ahead and take this truck to the gas station because it needs gas. So I'll turn on our automatic headlights there and the fog lights. There we go. Alrighty. So I definitely wanna know what you guys think about Ford taking away some of these interior lights because I wanted to show you guys um, the new changes of the 2022 and the only changes that I've noticed so far, other than the air vents not having the scroll at the bottom anymore, is the interior lighting and then like the packages and stuff. And uh, as I learn more changes, get more trims in and the black appearance package and all that, I'll keep you guys updated and I wanna show you guys the black appearance package. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for all that stuff. But these trucks drive really smooth and there's so much light output at night. Also like the curve headlights. I don't know if you guys can see it. See it moving with the steering wheel. Oh wow, it really moved a lot there. Yeah, that's really cool. It's kind of a cool feature. In my opinion, I think that I'd rather have a turning light, like a cornering light, rather than swiveling headlights. But the swiveling headlights is definitely a cool little trick. And if you guys don't know, the fog lights will act as turning lights if you don't have them already on like I do here. And by the way, this area, like I showed you guys in the in the review, this area is really dark, but it's not completely pitch black because if you look up here, see those two blue uh, lights? Those actually shine down all the time at this area just to give it a little bit of lighting. So it's not like you're completely in darkness and it still has the nice ambient lighting and the footwells and all that stuff. All right guys, just filled up a little bit of gas here. Definitely leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I love reading you guys' comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.